All right, guys, if you guys deer hunt and you got to haul a deer at all at any distance, then you need one of these. So stick around, hit that like and subscribe. So I was first introduced to these jet sleds well, a few years ago when I was hunting in Ohio and my buddies brought one and golly, my one buddy, there was three of us on the trip, my one buddy texts me like, well, I get up the tree and by the time I look at my phone around eight o'clock or so, I get a note that, hey man, uh, you can finish your hunt, but when you get done, you got to take me to the ER. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, you know, yeah, of course I'm not going to wait until I finish the hunt at 11 o'clock. So I got on down and took care of him. But my other buddy that was with us, he had a jet sled. Thankfully he did because he shot an eight point while we were gone and had to drag his butt all the way up this big mountain. And anyway, he had a jet sled to help him get it out. But then my other buddy got one and uh, I was borrowed it when I got a deer last year or the year before whatever when I was in Ohio and, and used to drag it out. They're just, they're just great for dragging deer out, but they don't come with a rope like that. And there's a few things you got to do to get them usable, if you will. So I'm going to show you that stuff, what I did here, and then show you how useful they are. And really, you can use this for all kind of stuff, more than just hauling deer. So they have a lot of uses, really. All right, it comes with two holes on, on the front side. So what I did was I got a 7 millimeter rope, static rope, so it's not going to stretch. And we're going to tie that on one side. But the thing is, when you're pulling a deer with that weight, and you're holding this, this rope's going to bite in your hand. So I had some tubing laying around and basically I cut a section that I don't know maybe close to two foot here and I'm going to run the rope through that and that'll be the handle that I hold on to that'll give you some different relief it's a lot easier with tube than that rope digging into you so we're going to tie this all in and get this thing ready to go and as you can see this seven millimeter rope is just about just a slightly smaller than that hole there so once you put a knot in this that'll snug it tight and hold it up there this is basically the type of knot I tied into it gives a good solid tight knot in here so then once pulled against it makes a good connection to the sled there and basically did that on both sides and just to give you an idea this is the large sled if i back up you can see how far the length of the rope i have is and give you a good idea of that piece of it you know when you buy you know when you measure that rope make sure you got enough to put the knot and the tie-offs here and then uh, of course you want to burn the ends of the rope there so it doesn't unravel Oh, there's all the mud. Good night, look at that. Jeez. Jeez. All right, this is the one we saw on camera. So. That's the exit hole right there. Should have went in on the front quarter right over here. Exit right there. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate that. Good shot. Quick, clean kill. Can't ask for more than that. Thank you, Lord. All right, this is what that sled's about. Just try to make this thing use your drag. So, that's what it's about. Here we go. And some people put straps over them, you know, but I haven't yet. But I, I might drill some holes and put some budgies on that just to help holding things in here. But. All right, guys, so my buddy Matt, we got his four wheelers with us today. Mine doesn't start going to cold, and he doesn't have a hitch here, which I was thinking we'd throw this over. But with his skills, he's like, oh, let's find a piece of wood. And he just run the wood through there to basically hold this in place. So I didn't even think of it, but he, he's got some good ideas. So that really worked for uh, pulling this out behind the four wheeler. So fantastic. I just want to show you, you know, something you can do if you don't have a hitch or something with a sled. Look at that blood. Golly, look at that blood. Good night. Here we go. There he is, right there. Nice. Nice. First Ohio eight point. Very good, man. Awesome, congratulations. Sweet. That's fantastic, man. Good job. Guess let's go get the deer sled and get him out of here, eh? Yes, sir. All right. Here we go, guys. Deer sled does it again. Down that hill there. Hooked it up, pulled it right up. Fantastic setup right here with this deer sled. So here's another nice thing about the sled, guys. When you get a deer and he's in a sled, just pick the sled up, stick it in your truck, and it's that much less blood and, and stuff to get all over your truck bed to have to worry about cleaning out later. So the sled really comes in handy, I'm going to tell you that for sure. Put the fell right there. 
Look at this, there's blood everywhere. Smacked against the tree right here. Look at this blood out. Good night. Good night, lady. Yeah, she just, I didn't hear him. This weird night, would you look at this? Look at that, there she is. All right. That's a nice sized doe right there. So yeah, awesome, awesome. This is great, this is great. So thank you, Lord. So uh, let me get the sled and get this thing packed up. But... All right, guys, here, I bring the sled out here. And basically what I do to get these deer in it is I go ahead and grab these hooves here. I stand this on its side. Grab those over here. Uh, holly bushes are rough here, man. Grab this in there, just kind of pull the deer over and into the sled. There you go. She's in the sled, we're gonna go ahead and haul her out. All right, so I did make this long enough so that once I get up to my cart, I can slip it over the, the rails there and we're just gonna pull this out with a golf cart. Four wheeler works too. I'm gonna pull this back to the truck and and uh, get it loaded up, take it to the processor. So, but this sled is fantastic. Uh, that's my third deer I've pulled with a sled so far this season. I just got it this season. Uh, like I said, some buddies had one before, and it came just really handy. And again, not just for hauling deer, but uh, they got a lot of good purposes. Like I'll throw this in the bed of my truck just like this. I won't have a big bloody mess in my truck. They get clean out later. So, I'm happy with the sled. And like I said, some guys you know they drill holes and hook bungees and all that kind of stuff on there, but I haven't found a need to because. That's, uh, like I said, three deer pulled out of the woods. The other two were a lot better than this. The other two were bucks we pulled out, heavy bucks. Pulled those back, but just, you know, you see you're grabbing some legs or antlers and dragging that deer and the feet are knocking in the back of the legs or, the, or you know, you're catching the, the feet on things and you just kind of get in that sled and you just kind of go and the slide's pretty good. So it just makes it a little easier on the drag. It's easy to get in the truck too, because normally you're holding legs and anything, lifting it up there. Now you just kind of, especially if you got somebody with you, just pick it up and slide it right in the truck and it's easy to pick up and go. So. I'm happy with a sled, so uh, it's it's a really good, useful tool to have for your deer hunting, and you can use it for all kinds of things around the farm too, I found out. So anyway, I uh, hope you found this video useful, and if you would, just hit that like and subscribe.